Royal Arenito Festival TV mit dem Pablito Donner 2018 wird geschrieben. And we're here with the motherfucking cunning linguist Halen. What the fuck? Halen from Paul What to the South. It's Southern YouTube, you so we can cuss, right? You can cuss as much as you want. Hell, motherfucker. Plus, it's yeah. Switzerland. You Bleep. can cuss. Damn, you can do everything. I here. work at a radio station. You can cuss. Bleep. Don't. Next to bleep, what's your, what's your favorite cuss word? <laughs> I mean. I think the like the just the dirtiest, nastiest sounding cuss word to me is cunt. It's terrible. That's a That's terrible like cuss such word. Such a it's terrible word. It's a horrible word. word. It's hard. It if you can you pull that off in a way that makes people accept it, you're a wordsmith. I, I you know need to a, be guy. a comedian or a writer or something. Swear to God, there's a British comedian called uh, I think it's Jimmy Carr. They're always British. They're always British. They're always British. They're the ones that can say it and it has panache. Yeah, and they say it sounds like a pebble dropping into a pond of water. It's like, just like it, on cunt. the tongue of a Brit. It How do they even say beautiful. it? Can you do your best? Ver- yeah, he he did. He made like it sound like coon, 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 Oh yeah, coon, I knew it. Be like coon. 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 Like, I can't even do it. I just say motherfucker a lot. So I guess that's my favorite, just because I say it a lot. So. How the kind of motherfucker? I don't think that that's that good of a word. I just say it a lot. So it's also just percussive. We yeah. could, we motherfucker. Could percussive, <laughs> yeah. And you can use it in so many different ways. It carries so many different connotations. Like Sam Jackson, he's like he couldn't like. I feel like that word made his career. Too many motherfucking <laughs> snakes on this motherfucking yeah, plane. Motherfucking plane. No, I'm just kidding. He's an awesome actor. Plus, yeah. I, motherfucker. I think probably a third of all Chopper verses minus really? tone deaf. Chopper. He'll sneak, he'll sneak a motherfucker. Tone Deaf will sneak a motherfucker in there sometimes. But yeah, mother. I mean, if you rapping fast, you're going to have at least three motherfuckers. Yeah, so Busta Rhymes probably says 16 motherfuckers in an album. 16 motherfuckers in an album. At least. In a verse. In a verse. In a verse. Sometimes. At least Eric Stone got a motherfucker. No, I haven't heard no new joints. I heard he had a motherfucker new Motherfucker another butter. He, he put out a verse on Anderson Pac's uh, Bubbling. Oh, I did hear that. That was pretty Ooh. dope. Actually, I like that. Bubbling. Let's get into the Conan Lingua stories. I've uh, been a fan since we'll rap about, uh, for food True. from Southern Underground. That's That shit got me. Linguistics was probably the song I listened to so much yeah. that it wore through. I don't think it works anymore. Nah, <laughs> I appreciate that, man. It's funny because when that record came out, the uh, label that put it out, originally we were just trying to decide to, if we want to put out a single on vinyl or if we would just want to put out the whole record, what we wanted to do. And basically, like, we, I think we... we, we uh, put it to we put it on college radio or we had it served to college radio and like for whatever reason that song just took off and we never intended it for it too i you know obviously the loop just has a lot of appeal yeah um and we're just like so wait the the song that's getting the most play is the intro from our first album literally so intro. so literally literally i think that it's uh, I don't. I'm not mad at it because I feel like it's a testament to our, our our quality over the course of our career that like one of our most popular songs to this day is the first song on our first album, that was just an intro, it wasn't even a single. I think part of that, I think that's a testament. Big up for that. Part yep. of the appeal to me also was the the trading of the like yeah the back and forth back and saying? forth yep. in the verses. That was his idea. Yeah. I mean, just to put put it on blast, like. He first, wrote the whole thing. At first, it was just I wrote a whole verse. I just wrote a verse, and I was like, I think it'd be doper if I write, like rap some of your bars. Yeah. Producer mind. He was like, if I just rap some of your bars, and I was like, bet. You yeah. So he like, he wrote like ninety five percent of it, and I just picked where we would yeah. trade off, and then we just it. traded off. He just sent. I wrote. I wrapped the verse, and he sent. Me so the first time you ever heard me on wax rapping as cunning linguist, I ain't ghost write written. that shit. It was ghost written. <laughs> it was ghost written. It was ghost written. But that's really? always um, something I thought was ill that the producer dropped bars as well on yeah. the record. I always respected that. Yeah. Like, is that something that's how important is that to you? I mean, it's important when it, it's important when it's important. If it's not important, then it's not important. And I mean to say that, like, if if I feel like my voice is needed on a song, like say we have a concept record or something like that, then like I'll write something to it. But like I also don't know that I need to be on every song. So I think that when you do hear me, it's because I, you know, it was a conscious decision between all three of us like we need a little sprinkle of you know we need some sea salt we need sea some salt. no sea salt in there. it helps break up the monotony of me and natty sounding exactly the same to yeah, most cause people because of our southern accents kentucky it took, years, twang. it took years for people kentucky to be able to tell us apart you know what i'm saying yeah i mean it took me a while i mean when i was young it took me a while to like tell outcast apart and goody mob like yeah. it took a while just to twang but we developed a style too to kind of yeah party over time i think they kind of you know differentiated themselves stylistically stylistically when's the last time you heard from kashal t ah oh, shit we saw him he came to our show 2000 either 2011 2013 and he actually hit me up 
when we did uh, a tour in uh, October, I think it was, or last mm. year. But we haven't been able to get into Sweden. Yeah. We, you know we haven't had any Sweden dates. We've been here been like, we've been to Europe Sweden. like five times in the yeah, past like, eight months. And it used to be and our Sweden main is, state. Sweden is one of our biggest, but we just can't. It, it's it, hard. It's timing. I don't know what it There's is. There's always like a timing issue or something going on. So. What's up, Sweden? Well, yeah. Do y'all, but, uh, y'all know Loop Troop? Uh, yeah. Loop Troop. yeah. The homies Loop Troop. Yeah, I'm trying to think the last time we saw them. The they came through to one of our shows to, to just to visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as as to me, pioneers, because I'm, I'm 33. I started listening Word. to hip hop when I was like 13. And when was that? Ni- 98 or something like something that. Something like that. Yep. Um, so to me, one of the first sounds I heard around 2003 and 4 was kind of linguist. So to Word. me, you guys are OGs in the game. Man, appreciate that. Um, it's not a compliment. It's the truth. <laughs> um, it's not a compliment. I'm just ha- saying ha- facts. They're just just facts. saying fact, but it's also a compliment. Just the facts. How you feeling? Um, where hip hop has gone since then? I mean, it's been a big fucking journey. You know, I don't, I honestly, I don't, I don't think that it's gone. I don't think it's veered off track as much as some people might say. Because I'll say I, that. Yeah. yeah. For a time, though. For a time. Like, the way I look at it is around, like, 96, 97, when Biggie and Pac was, like, at their height. Right. You know, they had elevated, like, commercial, commercial rap. rap to such a height right. that hip-hop was probably whack for, like, 10 years. Because people were just trying to emulate that sound. But because of that, the underground was born. You know what I'm saying? And now the underground is bubbling to the top to mix with the mainstream. And I think rap is incredible these days. That's my opinion. Yeah, I feel like there's so many different styles. I mean, you know, I feel like uh, a festival like this is a good testament to that. Because I feel like there's a lot of different styles of hip hop. Even at this festival, there's some old school cats, there's some underground cats, there's some mainstream cats. Yep. There's some cats that do, you know, trap shit and like it's and every and it's like it's like the gold it, it's know? the golden era, I think, of music right now. Again. Oh hell yeah. But like that includes rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So totally. like there's some dope rap. Yeah, I mean I, f- I feel like I don't think that it's a bad thing that you look at a festival lineup and it's like cunning linguist, Hobson, Chief Keith, <laughs> fucking Das Effects. Like, I don't see any problem with that. Like, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? For real. That's a I, hell of a My plan. only complaint is everything. kind of language. Like, you left us out. Yeah, you know I mean, you know. Man, I usually do. For me, Praise. it's a pretty good fucking night because the first two bands I put on mixtapes were Das Effects and Cunning Linguist. Yeah, well, so, go. thank you guys it's for the end of It's funny to, to that end because the first, the, the first rap I ever spit was I memorized the first verse from They Want Effects. And then like spit it back on like a, a like a dual cassette deck or something. So like the first rap I ever did, I spit somebody else's rap. So it was like DOS effect. So that's like wow. the first rap that I ever memorized and like rapped back. That's fucking crazy. It was so. embarrassing with me. Yeah. Man, the Royals got love for you. Everybody.